very much, uh, veterans, distinguished guests, friends, families, ladies and gentlemen. Good morning and welcome. Today I'd like to share with you a page from Calvary's history in the past. On May 11th, 1922, then Calvary Mayor Samuel Adams stood on the north bank of the Bow River, next to what was then known as Sunnyside Boulevard. He was there that day for a very special reason. He was there to plant a tree. A tree that would commemorate the life and the sacrifice of a young Canadian soldier fallen in the Great War, World War I. But you see, that tree was not alone that day. It was joined by many others. And indeed, as that true tree grew, thousands of additional trees were planted. And each poplar was marked with an individual sacrifice of a soldier lost in battle. This was not only a gesture of a young and growing city to pay tribute to its fallen sons, it was a very practical way for families and friends to feel a special bond with their loved ones killed and buried in the battlefields of Europe. In fact, this was a living memorial to those soldiers and on that day, that very special day, Sunnyside Boulevard ceased to exist and it became what is now known as Memorial Drive. But sadly, many Calgarians are unaware of that important history in Calgary's short life. They travel upon it many times. They even walk upon it. Memorial Drive means many things to many people, but many without knowing exactly what is being memorialized on that important street. It's an unfortunate truth that this is particularly relevant here today in Calgary. The freedoms that we enjoy as Canadians have come at an enormous cost. And those who have paid the price, they ask only one obligation of us. Remember. Remember their sacrifice, Remember their valor. Remember the horrors of war. Remember our fallen sons and our fallen daughters. People like Charles Crook and Sergeant Tony Knights, two Calvary area soldiers who were among the first to lay down their lives in World War I. To our current heroes today, people like Captain Nicola Goddard, Corporal Nathan Hornberg, Private Kevin Dallaire. Those memories are still very fresh in our minds and indeed in our hearts. Theirs is a legacy that should not be forgotten and nor should it ever be taken for granted. <laughs> Memorial Drive and Central Memorial Park are indeed important symbols in Calgary's history and its heritage. But they're there to keep the spirit of remembrance in our hearts and in our minds every day, not just today. But as Colonel McRae's poem reminds us too often, the torch must be passed from failing hands. These historic spaces along Memorial Drive and Central Memorial Park are public spaces to be enjoyed. But more importantly, they are living memorials that will teach our youngsters about history and the importance of symbols in Calgary's heritage. They are important as they serve as icons, symbols of remembrance. And today, they are indeed in need of renewal. And as a city, it is time for us to do that. And as a city, we will. You see, this city believes in keeping the faith with those who have given so very much and those who have asked so very little. Calgary is a city that remembers.
I feel the wind blowing through my doorway. It's telling me that the summer's gone and the winter waits in shadow, waiting with the storm. I am old and my bones are weary, and my son. He is all I have, but he has gone to fight for freedom, leaving with my heart. All my life I have loved this land, worked it with my hands, but can this freedom send the rain? When seed is in the ground, can this freedom heal the pain and bring my boy back to me again? Oh, 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 oh. Falling on 